Hey guys, this is Paul Hughes with American Woodland Relics. We're going to make some Brunswick stew tonight while we watch it. Listen to a little cane beeping. Looks like he's going through some hives. But I'm going to watch a lot of his, or listen to a lot of his videos tonight. All right. We're going to start off with uh, two and a half pounds of beef and we're going to run it through the processor. You want to uh, chop, chop it pretty fine so uh, my family don't like uh, chunks of meat in their Brunswick stew so we're going to chop it a little fine. I'm not going to video this as I chop it. But uh, I'll show you at the end when I get done chopping. We'll be right back. All right, that's what it, the beef looks like when it's chopped up. We'll get it in a bowl and then we'll do the pork. And I'll show you it before it gets chopped. Now, you, here's the pork. And uh, you don't get as much fat out as you can so throw the meat in the processor and also we got chickens going in here too and you want to save the broth off the beef and the chicken and uh, you'll add some to your stew when you get ready to start cooking. But uh, turn this off and get this pork in, and then we'll get the chicken, and then we'll be right back. All right, there's our pork ground up. I believe that was two pounds of pork. So we'll get the chicken and we'll show you how it turns. All right, there's uh, there's seven thighs right there. You can use thighs or you can use a whole hen. Uh, we just use the thighs because it adds a little more flavor and you wanna cook the chicken with the skin on. We use bone-in chicken, so there's that, there's a piece of beef I forgot to get out of the pot. I'm gonna throw that in there. It's all gonna be mixed together, so it ain't gonna hurt. And uh, we'll get this done, I'll show you the rest. All right, there's the chicken ground up with that little bit of beef I had that I forgot to add. But uh, we'll throw it in and get everything ready to go. And yes, yes, I do do dishes. Uh, I was give strict orders. My wife's at work. So she said, please clean up as you go. So here we are, guys. KP duty. Not particularly one I like to do, but so. Get these cleaned up. You know, and these food processors can be fun to clean. All right, we'll get back with you. All right, guys, here's all the other items you're going to need. I forgot to get the onions. I've already. The onions are already chopped. 
And I forgot to get one stick of butter. All right. First of all, you're gonna need one and a half quarts of canned diced tomatoes. You're gonna need two medium onions, uh, also Uh, one and a half cans of cream corn. Now on this, you use whatever label you want to use. But, uh, you need 25 ounces of ketchup. You're only going to use a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. And then, like I said, you need one stick of butter. You're going to need three quarter tablespoons of pepper. One and a half tablespoons of salt. A half tablespoon of sugar. And then you're going to add a two to one ratio with your beef broth and chicken broth I believe you put I have to get the original recipe because the original recipe makes like three and a half gallons of Brunswick stew but uh Yeah, you'll add two cups of chicken broth to one cup of beef broth. And you you fix it to the consistency that you like. So, uh, if you want the recipe, email me at hcfd954 at gmail.com. And I will send you the recipe. The original recipe, like I said, makes three to three and a half gallons. It depends on how your consistency is by adding your broth. But, uh, but we'll add all this and get it. I'm going to run the diced tomatoes. I got to see how big chunks they are and you use your own discretion at the, with this with the tomatoes and then uh, you can make it however you want to so we'll get we'll get on with all the other stuff and we'll start make, getting the stew ready to go okay guys I'm not gonna have to dice my tomatoes in the food pro run them through the food processor because they're Pretty good size, I mean, but they'll cook down some. Yes, pour the juice in the in the pot. careful when you do this this and this pop up like they normally do so I'm gonna have to Wow. 
Well, I'm gonna add all these ingredients and I'll, I'm gonna add the corn next. And, I mean, you, you know what cream corn looks like. Now we've used uh, kernel corn, just regular corn. And uh, we like the cream corn in it better than we did the regular kernels. So, but uh, we'll get the corn in there and uh, we'll get back with you. All right, guys, as you can see in the pot, we got our tomatoes and our corn. Then we're gonna put our smelly old onions in here. And again, that was two medium onions. You can add however many you want to. ketchup like I said you need 25 ounces so this is a 24 ounce bottle so we'll add this whole bottle Still watching Kane beeping. I believe this is show number 70 of his. All right, that's about got all that. Like I said, that was a 24 ounce bottle. And I'm gonna add just about that much. We'll do it Justin Wilson style. I don't know if y'all remember Justin Wilson he used to come on the PBS channels. He was a Cajun cook and he was funny. So, all right, I'll get back with you when I start adding the other ingredients. All right, now the recipe calls for three quarters of a tablespoon of pepper. And it's just got a regular household tablespoon. Got to count for the one bit that's fell in. This salt. This salt can be tricky. Yeah, I'm gonna add one tablespoon. There's one tablespoon of salt. It calls for one and a half, but when you get it all mixed together and warmed up. Taste it, salt to taste. But we went ahead and added one tablespoon and it calls for another half. So just keep that in mind. All right, I'll be right back. All right, now we got a little sugar. It calls for a half of a tablespoon of sugar. That's about a half. And 
And then it calls for oh, this right one stick of butter. the heat. Now my wife can't have a lot of heat it messes with her stomach. To start off I'm gonna add one one teaspoon. Y'all saying that one teaspoon. Here we got some Worcestershire sauce, and we're going to use just one quarter cup. And that's all I'm putting in this. There we go, one quarter cup. We got the pork in there, we got the beef in there, and we got the chicken in there. We got the uh, one and a half quarts of canned diced tomatoes, two medium onions, one and a, two cans of corn, 25 ounces of ketchup, one quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, one stick of butter, Three quarter tablespoons of pepper, one and a half teaspoons of salt, but we only added one. We'll add the other when we taste it after it warms. Uh, half a tablespoon of sugar and hot sauce. So basically, that's it. And uh, we'll get it all cooked up and We'll go from there and be right back. All right, guys, we've got it moved over to the stove. And uh, we gotta get a cup. Now this is the, your consistency part. What we're gonna do, we're going to get one two that's, that's your chicken broth I don't know why I didn't get two cups Beef broth is going to be a little difficult, so I'm going to have to. All right. That's your broth. Let's get a good wooden spoon. Get this kind of stirred up. Get some heat going. You want to start it off about medium. And this, you gotta stay with it, folks. You gotta stay with it. So we're gonna get it all stirred up here. This pan right here makes, like I said, about three, three and a half gallons, depending on your consistency. It's not quite as wet as I want it. One, two, 
two. That's your chicken broth. The one beef broth. Alright, I'm gonna get this stirred up. Get me a rag here. And also remember this will cook down. Piece of beef that didn't get ground up. Had a chunk of fat on it that I didn't get. That's all fat, so I'll just throw it away. Scrape your sides. Like I said, this is something you can't leave. You gotta babysit it. Just get it stirred up. No, it don't look good right now. Scrape your sides. Make, you want to make sure, now when I say babysit this, I mean you got to babysit it. You do not want this to scorch. And then you'll have some awful tasting stew. So, all right, as soon as we Get a little further along in the process. We'll let you take a peek. Alright. Alright guys, there's the Boston butts. Just come out of the oven. Until they're done, the bone wants to pull out. Let them rest a minute. Cool off before I get ready to shred them up. Gonna make some barbecue out of this. <laughs> I'm feeding them. <laughs> This is cooking. This is cooking. Oh, how did it turn back on? Bait beans, do what, bud? You want it open? Say <laughs> <Like> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> 